Now welcome to another edition of News from Naboo with Thor Sliding Takes. And let's get right to the news. All right, we have interesting news to report Big today. News. Big news. If it actually happens. Deadline has reported that there's going to be a new Star Wars trilogy out there. It's not the first time I've heard that, though. Right, but this is from Deadline. Well, no, but Deadline I mean, we trust. But I'm saying, like, Ryan Johnson had, like, a trilogy. I don't and, want to talk um, about it. Benioff and Weiss had a trilogy. All right, Deadline was unclear about what the trilogy would be. He was assuming it was going to be, like, an episode... 10, 11, and 12? Yep, yep, continuing the Skywalker saga. But not continuing, I thought. Well, Hollywood Reporter has updated to say that the trilogy is not going to be in the Skywalker saga. But that doesn't mean it's not going to be set around that time period. It's possible that some sort of existing characters from the other films could show up in the story. But it's not going to be considered like a direct continuation of those stories. Yeah. And most likely then will not be named episodes... 10, they 11, should just, I've, I've suggested before, just make a new saga. Call it episode one. You know, something, something. Now, I mean, it might be a little confusing because then you can't just quickly reference them. Mm, but I think mm. if you're going to just, like, kind of start a new saga, then call it episode one of a new saga. You have the Skywalker saga. This could be the blank saga. Right, you could literally call those just fully now, the Skywalker saga. And yeah, that's it. That's it. It's it's, it's own little neat box. Saga. <laughs> yeah, the Grogu saga wouldn't mm. surprise me. But where does this put the Ray movie, though? Because it feels the same... I mean, is the Ray movie in any way going to have anything to do with this? If, if this is supposed to be, like, sequel trilogy era, which... Speculation. We don't know for sure, but that's kind of... From everything I've read and heard so far, it is going to be post-sequel trilogy. So, does the Ray movie have anything to do with this? Is, is that just its own thing? I don't know. I mean, the Ray movie feels like a continuation of the Skywalker saga. Exactly. And if this is supposed to not be a continuation of the Skywalker saga, then... I mean, this could be, in theory, anything. It, it, as you just said, it could use characters, but maybe it doesn't. Maybe it is its own thing entirely. Well, we know this could be a High Republic era trilogy. Eh, I don't think I they'd, mean, uh, after the success, I uh, put that in uh, quotations of the Acolyte, I don't think there's going to be a High Republic uh, trilogy. But what's interesting is Lucasfilm signed... Simon Kinberg. Simon Kinberg. Yep. He's supposedly going to write all three films, as well as produce them alongside... Kathleen Kennedy. Yep, that's the that is the most curious news of all because mm -hmm. that implies Kennedy will be here for quite a while yet. Yeah. Or they're just not saying that it's not her. Maybe this is Kinberg um, being hired by somebody new, and they're like, we can't spoil the surprise that Kennedy. I mean, I'm, I'm I don't know. We're talking about a trilogy that is just probably in the beginning phases. We're talking, you know, six seven years. Maybe right. more? Right. At so that would be middle, Kennedy yeah. staying until she's nearly 80 years old at that point. So who knows? Who knows if how much of that part is true? Yeah. Now let's talk a little bit about Simon Kinberg. You know, because I was unfamiliar about what kind of projects yeah. he's worked on before. And sometimes taking a look at their past can give us a glimpse well, of the future. He's an alum of Star Wars. He did Rebels. Well, in the movie side of things, I mean, yep, he did a lot of X-Men. He did, like, Last Stand. Yeah, yeah. He was a writer for that. He was a producer for First Class. That's a He that's was a the plus. writer and producer for Days of Future Past, that's which is a big a, plus. one of the really good ones. Yeah. He was the writer-producer for Apocalypse. Ooh. Well, you know, not everybody's 100%. He was a producer for Logan, alongside, that, of course, James yeah, Mangold, yeah, Mangold as the director. Which is curious, because Mangold, as far as we know, is still doing a movie, so any connections between those two and the First Jedi Order mm -hmm. movie, or yeah. First Jedi movie, whatever we want to call it. He did, like, everything for Dark Phoenix. He wrote it, he well, produced it, and it was his directorial, like, debut. I fell asleep during Dark Phoenix. That movie was not yeah. good. He was also the writer and producer of the Fantastic Four from 2015. Well, he's batting, like, 500. <laughs> He if was you, the writer that's for baseball, the he's, Sherlock Holmes in 2009 with Guy Ritchie. Yeah, that's, he, he's that's been better. He's all over the place. Yeah. He's all over the he's place. He's supposed to be a gigantic Star Wars fan. He's a fan. producer on Deadpool 2. Yep. I mean, he did Rebels. I like Rebels. Rebels is very uh, Disney-esque, very childish. Mm -hmm. Childish might not be the exact right word, but it is It is kind of more that territory. But it, it's good. It's yeah. enjoyable. It gets Star Wars. I'll give it that. Yeah, he was also an executive producer on Deadpool and Wolverine. That movie made some money put it that way yeah like that may said, have been a part of the reason why he is uh, doing this now for rebels he was a writer he was an executive producer he was a creator he, i mean star wars is not unfamiliar to him he also got a creative consulted thanks credit 
for The Force Awakens, as well as a thanks credit on Rogue One. Well, one of those two was better. Well, The Force Awakens <laughs> wasn't the the. No, I, I'm just I'm kidding. I know. I'm kidding. I know. Force Awakens in the day was uh was all right. It just didn't get followed up very well. I just thought we should have a, a little glimpse as to some of the projects. It's one of those bigger projects that most yeah. of us in the fandom, the geek world, the geek world, have yeah, seen the geek or sphere, heard of. yeah, yes, probably. There's there's so much overlap. There's a lot on that list that I stuff. like. I mean, Logan was phenomenal. Oh, Logan's one Deadpool of the best. Wolverine. Logan great. is one of the best movies yeah. ever. Like in my opinion, you know, I I like that kind of stuff, but and a lot of heart, a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, it, it's just it's just a really good, really so good movie. He's got a, a little bit of a mixed bag. He's all over the spectrum in the portfolio, but there's a lot of good in there. Yeah, and there's some. There's some not good, but again, I don't think everybody's going to knock it out of the park every single time. But, I mean, this is hopeful. I mean, we do have D23 going on in Brazil. So Maybe they officially announced it there. Maybe this kind of leaked a little early. Yeah, Maybe that's I mean, some the deadline big... put it out there. Is, it's a news. Yeah, deadline is... And everybody is running with it, Hollywood Report. So I, I don't think this the is one of those... The yeah, big touching on it. All, so we know it means something. Yeah, they, they have probably a pretty credible source to all be running with it. So I'm assuming maybe it is D20 there. Maybe they wanted to hold this off maybe. to Star Wars Celebration or who knows. It's hard to say. But I mean, I want to be very optimistic. The whole producing along with Kathleen Kennedy, you know, you do at this point maybe think it's time for her to move on and for someone new to come in. So that could just be, we don't know the official announcement about Kennedy. That could be she's going to be here. You know, we're going to have to accept Kennedy control for the time being (laughs) and many years to come, which is less exciting. All right. We also do have to point out that currently Kingberg is producing a remake of The Running Man. It's supposed to go into production soon. Wow, really? Yes. I mean, why do you have to remake The Running Man? I don't know. So he's going to have to finish that up before he begins writing the first of these new films. He's also currently attached to produce the next Star Trek movie for Paramount, but who knows if that'll stay. I mean, J.J. Abrams did cancel his Star Trek contact, contract to work on Star Wars. Maybe, maybe... Revenge is a maybe, dish uh, best Simon served can do the cold. Same. <laughs> Hasn't, yeah, you, there you go. Hasn't Kinberg done a lot of Star Trek? Isn't he, like, controversial he in the has, Star Trek sphere? I don't, I don't think he has done a lot of Star Trek. I thought he was. There, I, I don't keep up. Like, I love Star Trek. Like, Next Generation, I grew up with that stuff. I love it. I like... The old school stuff my dad made me watch. When I say made me, you know, he introduced me is probably made a better way to say it. Forced you into it. So I, I, I have a deep love of Star Trek. I haven't really kept up with it, up with it since uh, the discoveries and all that stuff. So, but I, I've heard he's not beloved there, or am I wrong? He hasn't been working on it. He's got maybe no. I'm just, maybe I'm thinking of someone else connecting him to it. Okay, I could be he's thinking of no someone else. He's got no TV credits connecting him to it. My bad. So he's not he's not a Star Trek guy, and that that's fine. No, that's good. Those two. I mean, if we're trying to steal him from Star Trek, it means the fantasy sphere, sci-fi sphere. We want him, right? Well, I, I you know, he's like I said, he's done good things. I, I like Rebels. Some of the X-Men movies are really good. Some of them not so good. I mean, yeah, he was part of a co-creator of Rebels with Filoni. He was a consultant on Force Awakens. He's been in the Star yeah Star Wars vein here, so I'm really hoping. I hey, I, I say it all the time. I always root for Star Wars, and I hope this is. I hope he. Gets a trilogy and it's fantastic. Whether or not Kennedy is there, I, I again I hope not. But if he if he can just make some good movies, can we can we please have some good Star Wars movies and just good Star Wars to celebrate again would be really nice. Mm-hmm. Not that all of it has been bad in the Disney era, but it's it's been a lot of. I mean, if this was untrue, misses. if this was a, fi- a false flag, I feel like Disney would have squashed it by now. I mean, like, oh yeah. hey everybody, wouldn't Simon Kinber have come out? I mean, like. Hey guys, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not, not doing a Star Wars doing trilogy. His Star Wars trilogy. Well, that, that's what you would imagine. A lot of these, when they because why when they would leak, you want people to think you are doing that when you're not? And then yeah, like if I'm hit, because clearly he's heard now. You know, if he had no connection I'm to sure this, his and phone he, yeah, blew up. You doing up, Star like, Wars? What are you doing, doing a trilogy? trilogy? So he's like, huh? Hmm? Silence speaks loud in a situation like this. The fact that no one has come out from Lucasfilm or anywhere, yeah, just you know, refuting it. I mean. Disney would come right out and be like, whoa, hold whoa. up, pump the brakes, guys. Yeah. We didn't give him Ryan Johnson trilogy. It's still him. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the real announcement is Johnson's coming back. Oh, Buckle up, boy. it's happening. Yeah. I just hope they get made. Like, I, I'm ready for some Star Wars movies. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm well, we not saying they... What, a year in A year and a half here till, till, till Mando movie. movie. And then supposedly and another movie. Filming, so I feel like we could have just got it next year for Christmas. Yeah, and then I've supposed that supposedly there's another movie at the end of 2026 as well, but that <laughs> we'll I see. don't know. Well, maybe they're rushing James Mangold or 
Maybe no, Tiger don't rush Chidi's him. He's been doing his thing. Or, no, we, what about the, Donald Glover? Maybe he's uh, already done right in Lando. Yeah, something tells me none of those. He's been happen. filming it. At home. The man gold seems to still be happening because he recently did say something. Yes, he did. But I don't know about the Donald Glover, and I don't know about the Taika Waititi. Right. But anyway, that is going to be all we got for you this time. So now it is your turn. Take to the comments below. Tell us what you think of this big news. And certainly, I'm sure there's many who meet it with skepticism, considering we have heard about movies and trilogies before that do not come to fruition. Maybe this time it'll be different. But whatever the case may be, leave a comment below. Let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching.